name is Joseph Welty. I'm the presiding judge of the Superior Court in Maricopa County. My name is James Smith. I'm one of the judges here at the Superior Court in Maricopa County, and I'm currently on a civil assignment. My name is Melody Harmon, and I'm the presiding commissioner of the Juvenile Court. I'm Monica Edelstein. I'm with the Family Department as a judge. Judge Julie Mata. I work at the Maricopa County Superior Court in the Juvenile Division. I'm Judge Randy Warner. I'm a Superior Court judge, and I am in the Civil Department. My name is Wendy Morton and I'm a commissioner with the Juvenile Division. Uh, my name is Chris Corey. I am a uh, judge in the Civil Department uh, of Superior Court. The law confers uh, rights, responsibilities, and obligations. Advancing the rule of law in the context of a court system is really resolving legal disputes for the community, usually by making a factual determination and then applying the law to that factual determination. When I think of advancing the rule of law now, I think about adjusting to the changing times and being flexible while at the same time really still adhering to that same bedrock principle of law and the Constitution that we always have. It, uh, we live in a society that's built upon the rule of law and because of that, women, men, businesses, companies, they're all going to come and hope to live and be guided and be in a society based upon the rule of law. They're going to have disputes and that those disputes need to be resolved by somebody and that is our judicial branch. So the rule of law depends on public confidence in the judicial system. What that means is that everything we do in the justice system, everybody from the judge on the bench to staff interacting with the public, to the people who do all the things behind the scenes that make our justice system work. All of that affects public confidence in the judiciary and it affects the rule of law. So if people are treated well in our system and they get a justice system that's fair, that increases strength of the rule of law. Well, hopefully it really means what it has meant all along. And that is that the law applies the same to everybody, regardless of their characteristics, race, religion, sex, sexual orientation, or anything like that. The rule of law means that we apply that the same to everyone so that everybody has a fair system and enjoys the same protections and same benefits of the legal system. Advancing the rule of law now, to me, during a pandemic means that we give consistency and reliability to the public that they know that even during uncertain times that our justice system continues to roll and that laws will still be applied and there will still be consequences for those who break those laws and that the courts are also um, going to still provide rehabilitation to those who need it. Advancing the rule of law now tells me that in our current global crisis, we're taking the rule of law, which has been established and works, and saying to the court, you need to reach out to the community. You, as the court, need to advance the rule of law to them. Advancing the rule of law, to me, has always meant, um, it has always triggered the idea of equal access to the law, regardless of your your race, your gender, your socioeconomic background. It has always meant the equal application of not just access to the justice system, but the application of the laws to each person uniformly. 